Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to bsbtraining.com. I'm going to prepare a series of videos in click view through which I would be going to present you how we can prepare various dashboards for the CF of a company to display the financial reports to him. So this is the first video in that series and the scenario in this video will be that how to prepare actual versus budget expenditure amount dashboard and present it to a CFO of a company. So as you can see here we have got the database we have got a data set and in that data set we have actual versus the budget expenditure we are going to calculate. So as you can see here I have already get the financial data and in that financial data this is in CSV format and in this I have added few columns into it like scenario, year, month, view, region, amount, sorry account, product, customer and so on. And the scenario you can see here we have the actual scenario we have two scenarios actual and budgeted. If I scroll down we have two scenarios here actual and budgeted. So I just wanted to calculate that what is the actual expenditure we have done in a specific region and what will be the budgeted expenditure we would be going to do in that specific region. So we just wanted to represent by using a chart in a dashboard. So we'll be going to do the same thing through click view. So first of all, I'll just open click view and create a new blank click view document. I'll save it on my desktop. Reports. Next step. We'll be going to load the data. So I click on edit a script and load the data. So I click on table file and load the data. And you can see here the data has been loaded, but it does not contain any column right now. In column, we are getting at the rate one, at the rate two. We are not getting the accurate column or exact column as required. So what I'll do is I'll just change the label to embedded label. I set this to embedded label and now we can get the proper columns here, proper column headings, scenario, year, month, view, region and so on. Click on finish, save it and reload it. So the data has been loaded successfully and these are the number of records which has been fetched successfully from the data set close I would like to display here few of the columns like year and month so right click list box and the first I want to display year okay then and because we have months as well so directly we can prepare we can add a month list box which display the month here so go for month and also, we can add a new list box which displays the region. So I display region. We have the region. Let's arrange it as in a proper format. So I arrange it presentation instead of single column. I just turn into three because we have three years, three data from the three consecutive years 2013, 14, and 15. Months, we have all the months. So first of all, I apply the sorting. and also the presentation and in this I'll just turn to six or let's go with six one apply okay. and we can arrange it. So I uncheck this text sorting and turn into load order. I set this to original. So now we can get the months in the sequence or sequences sequence order January, February, March, April and so on and we have got the region. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to prepare a dashboard which will represent the calculated versus the budgeted expenditure 
in all region so for this I right click on the blank area new sheet object click on charts for this I'll choose combo box because the actual I would like to represent through bar graph and the budgeted I would like to represent through the line graph so I select the bar combo chart next we need to set the dimension so dimension I'll set it as a region next we need to add the expressions here so to apply the expression I want that this expression will calculate the amount only for the actual period or whose scenario is equal to actual because we have marked it as a scenario scenario is actual or budgeted so I'll just want to calculate for the same so right here sum and I'm going to apply a set analysis here So I write down the scenario. So what will be the expression? There should be sum and starts with curly braces dollar and dollar scenario equal to actual bracket and amount okay and this I set it as actual one more expression I'm going to add that is to calculate the budget so sum and curly braces scenario equal to budget and amount and I add here one dollar sign and okay and this I'll set as a budget so if I simple click on finish right now you can see the chart has been added but it's displaying actual here so we need to add a label so I'll set this to caption and the caption I set actual versus budget expenditure click on apply and okay so you can see the expenditure has been so that's the dashboard which represents the actual versus the budgeted expenditure so you can see that's the actual one so actual represents in bar chart and budgeted we represent through the line chart and if you want to display the values on the data point we can do more customization into it we go to expression and display the values on the data point so we have values on data point and as well as uh, in budgeted if you don't want to represent the budget in the form in, instead of line uh, if if you want to represent through symbols we have symbols here dots squares we can represent them through squares as well or through diamonds so we have diamonds we can see instead of uh, using lines we can display through, through them diamonds as well and we can change the style as well style or presentation look and feel so I'll we can set this to num sorting presentation and the budgeted we can set this from here the error thickness or we can do the more customization as required and the budgeted I want to show grid show minor grid and uh, and that's the symbol size in presentation we have symbol size so I turn symbol into 4 PT so you can see we have got symbols so this is as required when so it is as required if you want to display line we have line option as well so I'll display by using through lines as well so once the dashboard is prepared we can share the dashboards to the CFO also he will be able to see the actual and budget cost expenditure on a specific region as well by selecting this one or more than one region or in a specific duration so he would be able to see that he can do the customization as he, he would be able to apply the filter as required on a fly. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can get back to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on ClickView. Till then, have a nice day. Goodbye.